Hello everyone, this is SM72 from 2 Mad for Gaming, and I am joined by a buddy here, Force Death76. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Well, we're about to play like one of my favorite games of all time, so I'm feeling pretty good. Yep, so guys, I am back, or we are back with a really good game from our childhood. Uh, we both agreed to do a versus on this because we thought it'd be kind of fun. It's called SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Hell yeah, man. It's going to be it fun. just got man. a remake. Yeah, just got a remake, and would you like to give your uh, thoughts about it or as we go? Uh... I mean, I'll say, I'll probably talk about it throughout the thing, but I'll just say right now off the back, it's good, but it doesn't feel polished, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. It feels, I... it feels rushed. <laughs> I'd say it feels kind of rushed, but it's mostly Nickelodeon's fault. They only had 10 months to make the game, which is like, like, no game should be made in like that short amount of time. Oh yeah, definitely. That just seems like a really stressful situation for workers. Yeah. So, all right, but yeah, uh, so you Frank, start are you on the? Game, the uh, man? Yeah, are you on the? Uh, all right, uh, you're about to hit yes. Yep, I'm about to hit uh, accept. A game already exists. Would you like to override it? And I'm gonna hit yes right now. <laughs> Thank God, I didn't happen when we were playing. Oh yeah, but yeah, before you hit timer though. I'm gonna adjust my uh, camera controls through cheat Wait, codes. are you are you already at SpongeBob now? Nope, I'm on the loading screen with the bubbles now. Okay, so I'll hit yes then. All right, I'm skipping. All right, just skip the intro cutscene. All right, yeah. So I'll I'll be standing with I guess when it's Gary talking to. Yeah, that's, that's what you're going to be doing. Well, hold, hold on one second. So, I just... Alright, I skipped the dialogue. Yeah, I'm not Gary. moving, okay? Sure I'm, I'm at like the very first part pickle. in the game when you're right in front of I Gary. To I gotta pause the game real quick, and I gotta do mess. these cheat codes. Okay, can I pause so, the game too? Uh, can I quit out of uh, uh, Gary and then just pause real quick then? You can, have, you can be on the pause screen if you want. Alright, yeah, I'm on the pause screen. Alright, so I gotta hold down these bumpers and do square, square, circle, 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 square, square. Wait, I gotta do faster. Okay, I got inverted left and right, and I got invert up and down, so. Hmm, let me try it again. Okay, that was what I did it five times instead of six for one button. So I'm not gonna move, I'm just gonna test if I did the camera right. Oh, okay, okay, the camera's right here, and. Okay, um. Yeah, I'm ready. So whenever you want right, to hit so, the timer, so, man. All right. Yeah. So you, um, so I'm still on the pause screen. So I'll let you count down, and as soon the moment you say go, I'll hit my uh, pause, unpause, and the timer at the same time. Uh, okay. You want me to be paused too? Then I'll I'll be on the pause screen. All right. So okay. ready? Yeah. Uh, no, what? You should count it down actually, because you're the one holding the timer. You you okay. count it down. Yeah. So I'll do three, two, one, and the moment I say go, you unpause and you just go for it. And you have it set to 30 minutes, right? Yeah. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah, so folks, each episode is going to be 30 minutes. It's It, it couldn't be any more simple. Uh, we're just going to race who gets 100 golden spatulas first. Now, you might think it's a bit crazy, but obviously, um, in my Let's Play, I did not know of the Goo Lagoon glitch, but now I do. So we're both going to try that. Um, obviously, Mr. Not Krabs this is an episode. asshole. Probably, yeah, nah, probably not this next episode. episode. We probably yeah. won't get to Poseidon this episode. Yeah, so for this episode, you'll mainly see us in Jellyfish Field, so yeah. Yeah. But anyways, folks, here we go. Let the fun begin. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Off right to the kitchen, man. Yep, yeah, in Off the kitchen. Off right to the kitchen. A note from Mr. Krabs. Exit out. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not even that. Just a note. <laughs> um, for me, for me, I just got it. It was just up, uh, and then I quit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. But, dude, this fucking game is so good. Like, this might have been the first game I ever played in my life. It it actually was for me. I went oh, over really? to a buddy's house. Yeah, I went over to a buddy's house. He had it for the GameCube, and I loved it so much. My dad had a PS2, and uh, this was the first game I actually ever ended up playing because I loved it so much. When we, we played Jellyfish Fields at his house, and I ended up loving it so much that uh, I got it for the PS2. My, my, or my dad's PS2. We bought it, and we bought it for $17. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, because it's a light, you know, licensed games aren't that expensive. Holy moly. Oh my god. This game is so good. Oh yeah. I still like this, honestly, more than Rehydrated. In its current state, Rehydrated needs some updates on it to make it better. So, 
Like, if it makes it more polished out and rehydrated, I may like it more, but my big issue with rehydrated is that it just felt really easy. I, like, like the bosses, like, the bosses were really easy. The robot AI, they, like, really dumbed it down. And, uh, I like this game more because at least there's challenge. Like, the, honestly, the remake really didn't have any challenge at all. Yeah, I, I, obviously, yeah, you guys uh, might know me, or I do not have the slits like Frank does, but, but I watched some footage on YouTube, and SpongeBob actually moves a bit slower, I noticed. Yeah, like, he does. He moves slower. He moves a lot slower. Well, I shouldn't say a lot slower, but he definitely does move slower. It, it feels, like, off. If you played uh, the original, and if you played uh, Rehydrated right afterwards, it feels very off, uh playing as spongebob you, you feel like very slowed down and you notice the robots like the uh what are the uh, ones you find in downtown called again the ones that like uh have like really bad breath oh, i think they're called chomp i believe chomps yeah that's what i was thinking so chomps they walk up to you in the original the second they, they sometimes won't even fully walk up to you they'll be at a distance and they'll still shoot out their breath but sometimes they will be up to you and do it my entire playthrough of Rehydrated, I have not had a single one of them shoot their breath at me. They, they walk super slow to me, and, uh, like, when they were when they got close to me, they would not shoot their breath. They just stood there for a little bit. And I saw a dude on YouTube compare, uh, the AI of, the like, all the different robots from the original game to, uh, the remake, and they just... They are like stu like this game is easy. I'd say like the original Battle for Bikini Bottom is easy, but like wow, it is stupidly easy in a uh, rehydrated like stupidly easy. Still wow. fun, but like not really a big challenge. Yeah, and also another thing I uh, I think you mentioned to me was that Mr. Krabs is much more of an ass because he's more expensive. I believe you said. Oh yeah. So I th so the thing in rehydrated it's kind of a payoff. I think you get more shiny objects for the tiki's that you kill and the enemies you kill. I think you get more shiny objects, but like Mr. Krabs' uh, shiny object prices, they're like insanely high compared to this. Like the final in this one, I think is like seventy five hundred, right? Uh, yeah, like seventy five hundred. So. The final in the remake hey, is twenty four thousand. So like that just shows like <laughs> the huge uh, jump. In between uh, the games, it's like and you really you can't ex do the uh, Goo Lagoon uh, bowling glitch. So, oh like, yeah, you know, yeah, like, that's a shame. <laughs> you have to. I had to do another method where I was on top of a, a, like a part in Goo Lagoon. Oh, you you did uh, you uh, kept a uh, falling off in uh, not in SpongeBob's dream, but in Goo Lagoon. Yeah, there was a part in Goo Lagoon uh, where you use the cruise bubble. You, you spawn uh, to the spatula that's in the cave, and you walk outside the cave, and there's, like, on the bridge, there's all Thunder Tikis. You get rid of them, and then after you get rid of them, you, uh, you use a cruise bubble to hit the top of the sandcastle where there's, like, tons of shiny objects, and then you jump off into the goo, and then you respawn, and you keep doing that. Oh, okay, I see. Yo, and in the, uh, this isn't a Switch issue, this is all platforms. Uh, when you die, there's loading times. In this game, when you die, you're, you're taken by the hand, and then you're put back, like, immediately. Rehydrate oh, yeah, I noticed that. that. Yeah, yeah Rehydrate does not have that. They have really long loading times. Wow. But it's kind of, so, like, a shame, but, you know. Yeah, but that's why, folks, as you can see, we are playing the original, um... Just because and we're also playing it's all it because better. you don't have it. You don't. You're playing yeah. it because you don't have. <laughs> I don't have you it. Can't yeah. play. You can't. You have no way of playing uh, rehydrated. Yeah. We also did uh, before we uh, decided to do this, folks. I did uh, say to Frank a uh, uh, that we might want to try me playing the original and him the new. But then he's like, nah. And, 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 and you know, I don't it's blame you. Honestly, it's like a different. It's a different engine. Like how you know, like SpongeBob feels slower. Yeah, in that yeah. one, and like there's, there's, it's a lot more glitchy. The load times are really long. Like, yeah, I, I was I'm, like, and like, I I like the feel. Like I'd say this: the only things I like in Rehydrated more are the character animations and models, and uh, the environments. And they made the music, they remastered the music, so it's better. That's what I like more, I'd say. But everything else, I like better in the original. The original just feels better, and I feel, it feel, it's more fun to play, in my opinion. Oh yeah, definitely. 
yeah, what, what else can I say? Like, oh my god, and Rehydrate, I was looking at some of the footage, and the robots, like, especially a, um, oh, I think his name is Chuck? He looks a lot scarier, like, in, in yeah, Rehydrate. Yeah, but he's, they, uh, nerfed him a lot. Yeah, he looked, like, and, and the homing, I, I think they give you, like, homing targets, too, in the new one. Yeah, dude, I don't like that. It makes it, like, more... Way dude, easier. As if the robots weren't... Yeah, as if the robots weren't easy enough. Dude, a lot of people complained about that. They're like, this is way too easy. And, uh... There's no way to turn them off. And there's oh, no really? Difficult, there's no way to turn them off, and there's no uh, difficulty setting. So you're, don't, you're stuck playing on this, like, stupidly easy setting. Oh, rip. Yeah. But, I mean, at the same time, I'll say this, too. I can tell, like, Purple Lamp, they, like, this game was made, like, they, Purple Lamp really does listen to community feedback. Purple Lamp are the people that made the game. They listen to the feedback of the community a lot, and they took a lot of it into consideration. They're, they know that this game, like, isn't polished, and they're taking time to, uh, hear community feedback about problems that they have, so they can fix it in a patch that's coming for the game, so I have to give props to Purple Lamp for that, and I know it's not their fault that the game released like buggy because it's Nickelodeon that gave them the work crunch to make it release uh, at the same time as the new SpongeBob movie. But like, uh, yeah, it, it it just doesn't feel polished, and like bugs don't make it where the robots just feel easier, you know, and like how the game is just easier. That's not bug. That's not a bug issue. That was like a deliberate choice by the uh, developers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Frank, what would you say is your favorite, um, just regular robot in the game? Not a boss robot, just like regular minion ones that you see constantly? Yeah. Uh... I don't know, probably Sleepy Time? Oh, yes, yeah, I think I'd yeah, have to I like agree with you. I like Sleepy Time a lot. Yeah, he's cool. Oh, who else was I think? I like the, um, Slick, I think his name is called, you know, the Bubblegum Robot? Oh, yeah, he gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. Yeah, I remember there was one... Yeah, especially in SpongeBob's dream, when you go that's right why up I said. Him. That's why I said he gave me a lot of trouble as a kid, oh. because, uh... <laughs> he, he and SpongeBob's dream, whenever I was, like, trying to go uh, up those things, up those, uh, spiky blocks, he would always knock me back, and I'd be like, fuck... I'm gonna try to cheese something. I'm in, are you in Jellyfish Fields, I assume? Yeah, I'm almost at the uh, Golden Spatula at the top. Oh shit, I'm not. Did you get Where all the ones you? in, uh, did you get all the ones in the, uh, Bikini Bottom? Uh, yeah, I, I got all the, uh, I got the sock, the spatulas in Squidward's house, and, uh, yeah. Right now I'm bouncing oh, wow. on the, uh, I'm bouncing on the red starfish things. <laughs> Dude, I'm just going up to the, uh, I'm just getting the sock that's on the island away from them all. Oh, you, you mean got all the, the water socks and stuff too? Yeah, you got you got all the socks and stuff too. Yeah, I use. I like how um you're able to use SpongeBob and fly up to get to the water without Patrick, cause yeah. Yeah, that's how I do it, dude. Yeah. Like, that, it'd be such a time waster, you know? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta put up my game. I'm hitting tiki's a lot and stuff because I'm gonna need these shiny objects later, you know? Yeah, but um, yeah. Once they uh, uh, just, I'll make sure I keep you on a reminder of time. Right now we have uh, uh, 20 minutes, 15 seconds remain, so we got plenty of time still. Right, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll make sure I like give like a two minute warning and then one minute, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, I'm about to destroy the duplicated tron. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm, dude, I'm doing literally the bungee jump right now. Oh, you're on the bungee jump? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, holy crap, you got, yeah, I gotta step up my game. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh, shit, Wait. Oh, no, I got that already. Okay, I thought I, I thought I, for whatever reason, I thought I missed one of the socks back there. But, all right, I'm about to encounter Mermaid Man, who I'm not even gonna talk to, because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just skip that. Wow! <laughs> wow! And then just skip it. <laughs> And then, definitely one of my favorite soundtracks in this game is the sliding music, hands down. The sliding music? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. I'm almost at a uh, thousand shiny objects, but I don't know. I'm Might at 452 need... right now. Yeah, I, yeah, kind I was of goofing a, around hitting a lot of shiny object stuff. I shouldn't have done that. I was doing that to just like build it up because, you know, like there's the freaking uh, stuff that you have to pay at like the top of... Uh, you know, like, it's, it's at the top of uh, the jellyfish thing when, like, before you fight King Jellyfish. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. 
But yeah, that's the thing, folks. So like, as um as we play, where obviously before Goo Lagoon, we have to pay like two thousand plus shiny objects for the shells. Yeah, that's why I'm like going slow here. Yeah, uh, I was considering just like completely uh like uh speeding through. But the thing is, I do want to make sure I hit a little bit, so that way I I'd have say enough. What I'm doing is I'm like going out of my way just a little bit to hit some big tiki stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do as well. Yeah, I'm at 11:45 right now. Nice. All right, I'm on the uh, the little mini boss uh, before you get to Patrick. Oh, uh, like the robot stuff. Yeah, the robot battle. Right. I'm get I'm getting uh, the two socks before you go to get the Katatron. Okay, the two socks on uh, on Jellyfish Rock and the other side. Yeah, you know how like you have to bounce on the thing. Yeah. And then you jump, and there's like a secret up here. I never found this as a kid, actually. Oh, you mean the sock at the water fountain one? Yep, I never found this as a kid. Oh, yeah, I remember. That took me a while to figure out when back in the day. See, that's the thing, too. Like, back then, you learned, even if it was, like, difficult. And, like, now the kids are like, uh, how do you do this? And, like, that's why, like, I feel like a uh, rehydrate was just, like, really easy. Yeah, I'm, Frank, I gotta say, I'm really glad that, like, like, the original for us, like, we got to learn better <laughs> than the ones yeah. who learned today. <laughs> because, like, and this game isn't really hard. It just has challenge. It's, e I'd say, it's an easy game, uh, it's an easy game overall. It just has hard, like, aspects to it, you know? Yeah, I, I gotta say, though, like, definitely in terms of the challenging aspects, the number one most challenging thing in this game as a little kid for me was obviously, like, Barnacle Boy's, um, Lost Kelp. Or the Really? Crystals. For me, it was, uh, Mermaid Man Slide. Oh, yeah, you know what, you got a point there, yeah. Yeah, Mermaid Man Slide was really tough for me, and Mr. Crab's Dream as a kid gave me a lot of trouble, because, uh, I, like, the, uh, all, just all the robots as a kid, like, it overwhelmed me a little bit, and it took me some time to get through that. Alright, yeah, now I'm, I'm on the slide. Oh, okay. Yeah, right now, I'm, I'm about to get the plankton. That's good. Yeah, the slide controls, actually, I gotta say, too, in the remake, they made the slide controls, I think, better because they actually made it where uh, it's faster when you go down the slide. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's faster. So it can oh, be kind of tough. Alright, yeah, I'm just at the uh, Duplicatatron stuff. Okay. Alright, I am in the caves. Fiery balls. <laughs> Fiery balls. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of, I really like, I gotta say, I really like the Jellyfish uh, soundtrack, it's like, so good. Yeah, this is my favorite, uh, world. Now I just gotta learn how to play slide guitar so I can play it. <laughs> yeah, so you can play this theme. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we got about 15 minutes, 37 seconds. Sounds good. Oh yeah, for those of you uh, um, wondering, uh, I'll put a link um, to Frank's channel in the description. Go check out his uh, Let's Play of Cuphead. Really yeah, interesting. Yeah, just finished I, regular reminds me of a, uh, It's really cool. It reminds me of uh, Disney for whatever reason. Well, yeah, because it's like it's inspired by old... It's called Fleischer-style cartoons. It's inspired by old Fleischer-style cartoons and old Disney cartoons. And yeah. it's all hand-drawn on paper. They didn't do... They only... In the computer, they did it to uh, like color it because coloring would have taken like years. But like they have like watercolor background settings where you fight in that's like all hand by hand. All the bosses are drawn by hand on paper. It's just really nice. You don't oh, get that's games so where, cool. Yeah, it took them seven years to make it. Like you wow. don't get games where like they put that much effort into it. That's why people are saying like it's like revolutionary. Yeah, if only they put seven years into making the rehydrated. <laughs> yeah. At least, no, if only they put, like, at least, like, a year. Dude, they had ten months to make it, you know? That sucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good lord, yeah. That's such a shame. But at least, it's, you know, it's still decent, like you said. Yeah, it just it just needs to be patched out. Yeah. I'm uh, taking a couple um, risky hits, but not too... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, I just threw the throw fruit off of the... Uh, Grass? I did it again! I keep throwing it off the grass into the uh, goo because in another thing I did it again! Another thing that we <laughs> changed in uh the in the rehydrated is that when you throw the throw fruit, 
it uh is targeted to where like to land. Like you don't, you can't really throw it freely anymore. Oh wow. Yeah. I mean you can, but like there's no reason for you like like why like to not take advantage of like it landing where you want it to. Yeah. All right, I'm just about to go into the cave. Okay, I'm just about to finish the cave. Freaking hammer. What are they called? Yeah, they're called hammer robots, I believe. Yeah, they're called hammer, but it's like ham, and then dash, and then mer. Yeah. <laughs> also, I was also looking at a, um, you know, the beginning footage of Rehydra. It seems as if, like, it's hard. I, I don't know why, like, it, se it looked as if it was, I forget if it was harder to stun the robots in that game, by the way the, no, the game was playing it, is. but... I don't think it is. I think it's like this. Yeah, I'd say it's like the same. Oh, okay. All right, I'm just about to leave, and I like how you can see a um, the king jellyfish shower in the background as you leave. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mr. Krabs, I'm gonna quickly exit your conversation. Ahoy there! Boom! Ahoy there! Get smacked. <laughs> Ahoy there! Pure. Oh, yeah, oh, and, and speaking of tartar sauce. His design is so much different in Rehydrate. Oh yeah, it is. It is. Cause like in this game he has like a big box of like sauce and the in the other game it's like a tube or something. Yeah, it's just like a regular clear tube. Yeah. Yeah, he's in my opinion, he's one of the most annoying robots in this game if you're not careful enough. Yeah, he can be tough. Oh, this damn sign, it broke my mouth. Oh that's <laughs> that happened to me actually when I was uh, about to grab the throw fruit. I like had it in my hand and then the sign broke it. <laughs> yeah, it's like thanks a lot, sign. I'm supposed to be going through this as quick as I can. <laughs> so yeah, folks, in terms of a, an estimate of episodes, it's definitely gonna be at least ten, I wanna say. Um, I'd say so. Yeah. But I'm I'm not I'm if I'm gonna predict, I'm gonna predict a total of I guess fifteen episodes. I don't know. Somewhere around there. Alright, that takes care of that. Alright, I'm going off down the slide right now. Oh, well, another thing they changed is when you use the uh, Freezy Fruit, um, you go a lot slower on the ice. Oh, really? Yeah, I remember I was playing like, wow, I go really slow here. Damn. Oh, I might actually die in the goo. I went the wrong way. Oh, I know, I'm gonna make it. Alright, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, so folks, in case you're wondering, when I, a um, timer that I have in front of me, as soon as it goes off, I'm gonna shout pause. And even if I'm inches away from the spatula, I have to pause, and that'll be that. So that's how we're gonna do things. Yeah. So, like, if I'm, like, say, for example, trying to get all the snowmen in Sand Mountain, and, like, I have, like, two left, say, to destroy, and I have, like, a minute left of the, uh, of the video, I'll be like, alright, I'm gonna have to, like, I'm not, I know I'm not gonna make it, so maybe I'll, like, do something quickly, like, maybe get a sock and Bikini Bottom or something if I have enough time for it. So, you know what I mean? Something like that. Yeah, I think it's the best way to save time. And also, I was, uh, in terms of the cruise bubble, I think the originals is so much better. Oh, dude, they, uh, that's another thing. The cruise, I, I only don't like the cruise bubble in, uh, the remake. Like, it's different, and I get they made it easier because, uh, you can see, like, the target better of it, and they made it go slower, and they made it have, like, longer seconds before it explodes. But, like, for me, it's actually harder because, uh, I just, I, I have trouble controlling it because I'm so used to the, uh, original. Yeah. Uh, and the original, I just like, is so much cooler looking. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool looking. Especially when he... I, I, I really need to figure out what he says when he's like, Spongebob controls where it wants to go, or something like that. No, he says, like, Spongebob, commission control, who wants to go. That's what he says. Oh, that's what he says? Okay. Yeah, I've yeah. been dying to know what he's been saying. Alright, here we go. I'm doing the fountains now. Fountains? Oh, okay. I am pretty much right abo above Mrs. Puff <laughs> with Spongebob. 
I just paid the uh, the clam thing. I think it was like two thousand something. And there's also certain sections in the game where, especially if you get to the top, it is possible to get Patrick to the top. Um, before you enter where Bubble Buddy is, and I tried it, but he just turns in the sponge. I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> he does, yeah. It's like the game's forcing you. It's like, no, you, ha it. you have to play as SpongeBob. God damn it! That'd be so funny if I was able to play as Patrick against uh, King Jelly. <laughs> Such a shame. They thought of every possible. <laughs> You'd be able to attack him in the remake because you can use Patrick's air. You can use Patrick's regular belly slam in the air. In oh, the air that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm kind of conflicted about. Yeah, and even Sa Sandy, I think, can do the rope thing in the air. Right, we have approximately eight minutes left. Okay. Oh, this this guy I hate. The one who's sitting right at the top of the slope. Yeah. All right. Screw off. There we go. We have eight minutes. I can do this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's this sock. Yeah. There's a total of um. I believe it's 80 socks in the game. So I'm I'm yep, I there think is. What, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna obviously like. This is completely up to us. We can do this in any order we want to in folks. I, I don't think I mentioned that yet, but we're going to do this in any order we want. So, for example, I could do, like, either the Dutchman's Graveyard last, or I could do Kelp Forest last. Hell, I could even do, like, Downtown Bikini Bottom last if I wanted to. You could. To. Yeah, so... You could. I don't know why you would, but, like, you could. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> But yeah, so in terms of uh, handing in the socks, I might do it uh, just a little bit at a time. Or I might just save it for the end. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It doesn't matter, though. Okay, now that I do that, what I'm going to do now is... Yeah, I'm going to do this, actually. Alright, I just paid the clam. Oh, okay. How much time we have left now? Uh, we have exactly six minutes and thirty seconds. Okay. Wow, SpongeBob. Oh, I almost missed that jump. Um. All right. Yes. Okay. okay. But yeah, folks, in case you're wondering, um, thank God for the glitch in this game. Otherwise, if the glitch were not possible in Goo Lagoon, then there's no way in hell we would spend one episode trying to grind for shiny objects. So Yeah, that would be like <laughs> that would be really tough. Yeah, that would be just incredibly Mr. Krabs, why? <laughs> uh... Thank God too that we don't have to go up to like twenty four thousand. I still find that so ridiculous. That's insane. I can't believe they yeah. would do that. I still find that really ridiculous. I gotta waste this. There we go. I was I just waited for the Tartar guy to shoot his Tartar sauce because I knew it was I just would have gotten hit. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel about him. Yeah. Cause like like I I swear to you, there's been like a lot of occasions where I would try to jump and I fall off and I'd have to walk back up. SpongeBob. Oh my god. But anyways, um, with SpongeBob in mind, I gotta say like. God, do I really have an idea for, like, my top, like, ten or top five favorite Spongebob episodes of all time? That is really hard. Uh, I mean, my favorite... I, I, don't, I don't know. My favorite... I mean, Krusty Krab training video is really good. That, I, like, I like how unique it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that... I Obviously, we have to put the pizza episode in. <laughs> uh, the pizza one's good. Um, what else am I thinking of? Um... Oh, uh, the one where Squidward falls in love with Krabby Patties. Oh yeah, where like he's like, I gotta have more, I gotta have more, and he's like, <laughs> and it shows like his like dumb looking face. <laughs> yeah. Um. There's also the um. I'm on oh control. shoot! I just screwed up the wall jump, dude. Yeah, the uh, the wall jump in Rehydrated also changed. Oh really? Yeah, they made it like more uh, stiff. I'd say it just doesn't feel like normal. Damn. Wall jumps. <laughs> Time check. 
Okay, so we have exactly four minutes remaining. Okay, I can do this. I just, I'm, I'm gonna try to beat King Jellyfish in that time. Freaking monsoon. <laughs> Shit, I I'm the wrong here. For who? Oh wait, are you and Kulakoon? Yeah, I decided to hand I had nine spatulas, and I decided to hand in one spatula to Patrick just so I could um uh, start Gulagoon a bit. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, um shit. Switch. Alright. Now I just gotta wait for King Jellyfish to go down. I should be able to beat King Jellyfish in this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah, and I think you'll be able to get back to Squidward in time. Maybe. We'll see. From what, it, from what it sounds like. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> oh, oh, speaking of that, another episode that is highly amazing is the Graveyard Shift episode. Oh, uh, yeah, where, like, they, uh, they... Wait, the Graveyard Shift, is that the one where they kill the health, health inspector? Oh, no, that's a good one, too. I was thinking of the one oh, where... Oh, you're Squid thinking of the Hashling and Slasher. Yes, yeah, the yeah. Hashling and Slasher one, that's good. No, remember the one, though, where they killed the health inspector, where it's like, look at him choke! Like, they were watching him, like, enjoying yeah. him dying. They're like, oh look my at God. him choke! And, and then Mr. Mr. Like Mr. Krabs was a dick, and he's like, he's like, what's this wee stuff? You're, you're yeah. in the bed. <laughs> yeah. But you told like, me! Oh and, then he, and he's like, well, you could have talked me out of it! <laughs> yeah. It's like, you told me what to do. It's like, you could have talked me out of it. And then it's like, <laughs> we're just going to get some ice. And it's like, ice? Ice? Is that what you, is that what you guys want? Is that what you guys want ice? And it's like, I'll just get some myself. It's in the cooler. It's like, there isn't any ice. There's never been any ice. Ice is just a myth. <laughs> oh my god, such classic. I know. Alrighty, so we are now at the two minute warning. Alright, cool. This is Puff. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! And then just exit out. <laughs> Alright, I got the golden spatula at the end. And, oh, and nice. the sock. Yeah, you know what? I think I will get to Squidward if we have a two minute warning. I will get to Squidward, so I'll, I'll be done with Jellyfish Fields. Okay, nice. Yeah, and then if there, even if there's like like 20 seconds remaining when you're back in Bikini Bomb, you can just grind for a little bit of shiny objects, I guess. That wouldn't be a bad idea, you know? Yeah, just to do something, you know, before the final. I admit, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, but we'll see. Alright, minute 10. Alright, I got the spatula from Squidward. Oh, nice. He's like, oh, yeah! Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that feels so much better. <laughs> No, yeah, I like it in the rehydrated when he says, can I rub some on? And he does a weird dance. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> Dude, my favorite, though, is still when he talked with him uh, in the Mermelair. And uh, he's like, that depends. Do you want the booby trapped or the non booby trapped deck? So I was like, non booby trapped, please. And he's like, then go that way. And it's just like, yeah! <laughs> 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 just so funny. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do this. 25 seconds. All right, I'm talking to oh, Patrick. Oh, shit. Yeah, I failed. All right, yeah. Screw it. I'm not all right, so it. it's saving the game. So I have 12 golden spatulas. How about you? I'm assuming that's all I can do. Yeah, all right. Let's see. 13, 12. All right, yeah. I'm just going to go back to Bikini Bomb and see if I can get a couple more shiny objects real quick. 8, 7, 6, 5. As you count down, I'm just on the saving game screen. 1. Hey, Pause. Bob. All right, there we go. So all right, so now we'll announce um, our uh, current total. So I am at ten spatulas, seven socks, and two thousand three hundred thirty-one shiny objects. How many spatulas? Ten. Oh, did you not do all of Jellyfish Fields? No, I skipped a uh, the boss for the time being. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I did. I have twelve golden spatulas, six socks. Oh, okay. Nice. And how many uh, yeah. shiny objects? Uh, currently, I have 1,359. Alrighty, folks. So, we hope you guys enjoyed our first episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Peeny Bottom Versus. Gonna I'll, save I'll my leave game. a uh, Yeah, save your game. I'll leave a link a, uh, to FD76's channel in the description. FD, uh, Force Death, everybody. Force <laughs> yeah, Death. Force Death 76. Yeah. <laughs>
Which is only f uh, four numbers off for mine, ironically. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, yeah, go check out his channel and go check out other content on Too Mad for Game if you're interested. But till next time, we've been Too Mad for Gaming. I've been SM72, joined by... Four Steph 76 And we'll see LOL. you guys next time for SpongeBob or the next episode of The Versus. We hope you guys enjoy. Take care. Have a great day, folks.